Hi everyone and welcome back to Oak Hill. Now I'm sorry that there's been a little bit of a delay between my last video and this video but uh, I'm, I'm back to it now. My house is less busy. I, I get nice peace and quiet now. So uh, where are we at? So the last time I think we were we were probably on about £60,000 so I did actually manage to nip on in the past few weeks and get some contracts done. I did a couple of contracts on. I did field one and two. So I planted those. I did 55 and 45 as well. Uh, not sure what's in them. Okay, so um, canola oat, uh, canola and sunflowers as well. Managed to have a little play with course play as well. So that's good. So what are we going to be doing today? I think it's probably about time that we mowed, but it's just looking at the steepness of this hill. I'm just thinking if I get the baler, it's, they're probably going to go everywhere, but we'll, we'll just have to deal with that uh, when it comes. Now, the money isn't great, and the money from the contracts wasn't great as well. I think altogether, out of the four contracts, I made about £12,000. That's after I bought you know, seed and... Um, after I borrowed equipment, I think I was having all three contracts going at the same time with course play just to give that a go. Um, and nevertheless, a nice little boost for us. So let's go to the store. And let's rent some mowers. And we can get started. I'm pretty sure these fields are ready. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, they're good to go just now, so. Now, I will just be making swaths with the mowers, so I want to do silage bales with them, so I don't think I'm going to get a mower conditioner. That would uh, require me to windrow it afterwards, which I don't really want to do, so... I've already had a quick look actually, so I'm just going to go for these because I've never I've never actually tried them before. You're probably all thinking that, you know, why not? They've been around for ages, but, you know, they're pretty cheap to lease, so. And it's a £1,000, so we don't need to have it used. Oh, that's the windrow. Okay. Well, that's fine because I need that. So it's an extra grand. We're going to have to do it. There we go. the engine off right I don't do you know what I don't even know if this tractor is going to be able to pull them uphill that'd be interesting I didn't even check you know I just assumed well, that's all right you can just try uh, no I don't even think I'll be able to okay let's just pop this to one side bear with me a moment Okay, so I went for an Axion 870. I know I'm using an Axion actually just on Spectacle Island, um, but it's not as powerful as this one. and Actually just slightly different. I don't think it's the same model, so this should have no problem. Now, I spent <laughs> 11,000 on this. Oops. But we're going to make that back in the silage bales because we have three fields to do. So, oh, no traffic. So let's see how this performs. Now, are we on Windrow? No. Uh, swath dropping, there we go. So let's see how we go with this. We 
the grass looks pretty dry anyway. Um, that doesn't look like wet grass to me, so hopefully we'll be okay. Oh, we're going to get a lot. I don't think, I suppose I don't think any vehicle would like coming up a hill like this. I'm going to fly down. Apologies if I sound a bit croaky as well, by the way. It's 7 a.m. And not that that's a problem, I'm usually up anyway, but uh, I've got a little bit of hay fever going on. been sneezing this morning. I've got a coffee here to help me, so we should be all right. I'm going to take me some time just to get going. So what I've done in the past three weeks... I've just been doing my time-lapse series. It's like I said before I left, it was a lot easier for me to actually do those because I could film them in parts and the house was so busy. My house was like a building site, so it was just so easy to um, film those and edit those together in, in pieces, really. I, I really didn't get much time to myself at all to, to kind of do this kind of thing, but this is the kind of thing that I want to do. Just sort of lay back, let's do it, have a chat. And I think this is uh, this is the type of the type of video I want to put out anyway. So the time lapses will stop as soon as they've kind of run their course. I'm not sure when. I'm kind of enjoying it, especially spectacle. I think that actually uh, I really enjoy doing the intros to that, and I've had some good feedback about that, and uh, it's been really good so far. So thanks to everyone who has given me some feedback, and I've been taking it all on board the last few weeks and um, it's it's not been ignored I've been thinking about kind of what I want to do and I'm, I'm it is just for fun really this I mean I, I work full-time so it's impossible for me to put a hundred percent of my effort into this because there's other things going on um, as you can imagine it's the same for a lot of people I think as well and um, this is not just solely what they do so but we'll see where it goes I'm going to have a lot more opportunity now to to do this for you guys. Also, I haven't tested the sound um, since I, I lasted the last video. Uh, I assume it sounds okay. I suppose you could let me know if it doesn't and I can make some more tweaks. I have tweaked a little bit since the last time based on some feedback that I got, but um, I, I guess you guys will be able to tell me um, if anything is awry. So I hope everyone's weekend was good. Um, this weekend I've been joining in on multiplayer, multiplayer with Scroft and Co. Those guys are really, those guys are really, really fun, really welcoming. And I've enjoyed it. I was a bit dubious to begin with, but I suppose if you don't push yourself out of your comfort zone, sometimes you'll never get anything done. So um, I just decided to go in, in for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. And this Discord is, is lighting up now. It's it's getting really busy, so so good for him. I don't know if it'd be easier for me to just whiz up to the top and just keep coming down, you know. These fields aren't going to be ours forever. I uh, I don't plan on staying around here. I want to move down to more somewhere more central. The fields tend to be a little bit flatter. There's a couple of bigger fields as well. I mean, the, these grass fields are not tiny compared to the rest of the map. 89 and 96. That looks interesting down there. Ah, give us something to aim for. And I'm not used to having mowers this wide. I think there's probably the widest mowers I've worked with, which probably means they're the most powerful as well, which makes sense why the Massey couldn't handle it, but... <laughs> we learn as we go along. 
It's easily fixed. Everything's easily fixed. So I'm going to work on getting two of these uh, three fields done just now and then I'll, I'll come back to you, okay? There we go. So that's those two done. I have got one more. I've got 47, which is a slightly bigger field, but I just wanna I just wanna check the oh I just wanna check this grass. So <laughs> sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I had my finger on the throttle, not the brake. Right, so let's just leave that there for a second. I think I'm gonna have to get one of those little devices. Oh, where where is it? What would it be under? Is it under miscellaneous? Well, yeah, one of those devices that tell you what's what. Because I'm thinking, as I was doing that, I might leave one of those for hay. Hay's going to be useful. But with us running Maze Plus, I think I have to ted it first. I think. It's just grass at the moment. I think I'm... I think I need to ted it then leave it. Um, let's have a look at the menu. Oh. <sighs> Typical. Typical Shetland weather that. Look at that. 24 degrees sunshine and rain. It's always raining in the summer. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to do that then. I can't have it raining because that'll just undo all of the hard work. So Wednesday through to Wednesday and Thursday are probably going to be the best days. So I might leave 47 just for now and do that tomorrow because it's tonight. It's midnight tonight. The rain is coming. So, okay. So we'll get these bailed then, and we'll get them bailed before tonight. We've got plenty of time. It's only ten past three, so. Uh, let's get to the Massey. And let's rent a baler. I'm thinking fast bail. Again, I've never used it before, so sorry I'm late to the party for those guys that are like, you know, Vicon Convernland connoisseurs. <laughs> the dirt texture on this, it looks really good. I love that mod. Real dirt mod. It's good. Okay, so I thought I'd just whiz in. Um, yeah, I did something. Um, I forgot to press record. It happens. So, so far, I'll tell you where we're at. So far, we've got uh, bales falling all over the place. One, two, three, four, five, and then there's one that's gone into a field over there. Top field, 47. So I was hoping maybe we get about 10 bales all together. That would be best case scenario. So, yeah, I'm sorry for the jump cut, honestly. Don't know what's up with me today. I've been sat here talking to myself. Good job no one's in the house. So what I was uh, what was I was saying before when I was actually when I was talking to myself is that these these fields are going to be easily fertilized. We've got that fertilizer sp uh, spreader that we got last time. Uh, I know it's small, but it'll do for now. The, f the fields will be done pretty soon, um, and hopefully we'll get more than one cut or two. I'm hoping for like two or three cuts. That would be a good number, good number, because I think we've got spring tomorrow, end of spring summer the whole of summer the whole of summer to do uh, and early autumn as well i think the grass will still grow early autumn 
So when these are done, we'll check what they are. I think in Maze Plus they change to... They become silage gr grass and then it's grass silage when it's, when it's done. Uh, yeah, grass. So grass silage just here. So BGA is often a really good price for that. Uh, I'm looking forward to that because we definitely need that income right now. Uh, I'll pick these bales up with a, with an auto load. It's just they're not staying in place, obviously. Loving it downhill. As long as they fall into one place, I can easily pick them up all in one go. It saves me timping about. Uh, yeah, so we'll check them when they're done, and we'll wait for them to ferment into a grass silage. And they should say silage grass. I think I've got that the right way around. Well, anyway, we'll we'll find out. I love what he's done here at the end. You see those those silage bales and that. I wish mine did that. Stay put. No chance. Misbehaving bales. But it's really good. I love how map makers do that. He's made it look like it just carries on. Um, I can't. I. Yeah, I, I don't think I can get to that side, so I think that's the edge. And this fast bale is really good. I'm not used to baling um, silage and, and not having to stop. It's it's really difficult to get your head round, first of all. Um, also, I've decided to go for 10,000 litres. I just think it's a nice round number and it's, e it's going to be easier to pick up less bales, which is why I said I was hoping for maybe 10 or 11 because 10 or 11 4,000 litre ones would not be good and I think we've bided ourselves some time now considering that half of this video has been cut out and I thought it was going so well as well anyway Technical hiccup as uh, usual. It's a sign of things to come. <laughs> Stick around. But we'll we'll get a um, we'll get a auto pickup, like not one of those ones that just chucks them on the back. I think we'll just get one of those ones that picks them up and stacks them nicely, and then we'll wait. Wait for them to to be done, and then we'll chuck them in the BGA and get some cash overnight I attempted to go across here like across the way to see if it was easier than having to come all the way up and then go all the way back down but it was it was just making me feel a bit sick I was having to turn every few seconds so I, just, I didn't give up in the end So yeah, so uh, I'm sorry I'm late to the party for this fast baler, but I'm I'm really really enjoying using this. As I like using stuff I haven't used before, so always pushing the boundaries. I'm sorry if this makes you feel a bit ill as well, because I'm just I'm turning on a slope. So I'm sorry if you get travel sick like I do. I don't really want to keep this baler overnight because when the hay is done, I think I can just get a really low cost baler that we can call our own. Uh, we don't have the money to spend on equipment like this just now, but if we get something to call our own, then at least we have it for next year and we can upgrade it at some point because the, the hay bales don't need to be round or wrapped or anything, obviously. So we'll probably just get a quadrant baler, a low cost quadrant baler for that. I don't think I'll bother with liming and ploughing these fields. I don't think it's going to be worth it. And considering that these weren't even fertilised, I don't think this yield is bad. Um, however many 10,000 litres we've got so far, it's not, not bad going at all. Well, I play rugby with three, yeah, three, three farmers. And there's a couple of other lasses that have farming backgrounds. 
I just I just thought it was the norm. But I suppose then the gaming community is dominated predominantly by male players, gaming players, and I suppose. But you know, us girls like to do this too, so why not? Hopefully I've done better than I actually thought I was going to do with these bales. I said I was aiming for 10, wasn't I? So we'll see what we get. I wonder if I can change the capacity of this. I don't think I'm going to get 10,000. Will it let me do it? Oh, yeah. Let's go for a 6,000-er. No, let's go for a 4,000 or it's nearly full. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, see, look, I'm stopping again. I'm not used to this having to not stop. The bale's coming out and I'm thinking I have to stop to let it out before I can pick anything else up. Wonderful, really. Right, so let's get this last little bit and find out how many we've done. There's only a little bit in, but I'm just picking it up for my peace of mind, so I, I don't really like these little bits all over the place. Okay. Whoop. I'm going to just put it in here for now. I'll take it back in a minute. Terrible, never mind. Terrible parking. Right. Shall we see? 13 bales, there we go. 130,000 litres. Brill. So let's go and grab the collector and let's count 13 bales. Could have gone for that Ursus one, but I, the, you know, I've just, I've just used it on Chellington, but it collects 12. So, oh, we were already on bailing technology, so let's see. Twenty-four. It's a shame because I don't. I, I want to use it, but I haven't got that many bales, so we're just gonna have to go for something. I think it's gonna end up being the Ursus one. No, do you know what? I'm going to use this because I want to. And it'll pop it all sort of two, I think. Two and one on top. Let's do that. Right. And I think before tomorrow I'll end up sending this class back. And I'll have to just have a little think about what kind of tractor I need going forward for the rest of this year. It's, it's taken so much horsepower to get these grass fields done. I'm just worried that that mass is not going to be good for anything. Except for small seeding. Like, how's it going to perform when I want to pick? Pick up grain and stuff. Um, if I could, I've come the wrong way. No one will ever know. It's good that hedges don't have collisions sometimes. A lot of people don't agree with it driving through the hedges, but I mean, if it's, we're not playing realistically, we've admitted that. If there's no collision, look at that nice little bales all falling down to the bottom. Just ready for us to come in and swoop them up.
Again, another piece of equipment I've not used before, so... We'll try and all new things. Not a bad thing. I'm going to come down on the left side for that. Right in the way, aren't they? So we have 60,000 litres here in bales. This is, this is some weight. It's a very steep hill as well. So um, I've not really thought about what I want to do after we've got the income from these bales. I'll have to have a little potter around. We'll definitely have to do some more contracts because I think we've uh, we've spent a lot of money getting these. The, the income is definitely going to sort of outperform the, the cost. So the cost is way less than what we're going to get out of it. Which is, which is what you want really, isn't it? It's how you make your money. But we need to reinvest. We need to we need to grow, so I'm just thinking about what we can do. Maybe get a new piece of land. I don't think that, that canola field we've got, field forty six, that's not gonna be enough next well, later on this year, it's not gonna be enough. So I might reinvest this money and maybe get another smaller field. So that's it. So that's it, thirteen. I managed to get them all. Uh, so let's tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay them in this little bit here and they can just stay there until they're fermented. Excuse me, reversing. Still getting used to the way that this works and the way that this reverse. So how do we do this? Right, so, so I have to get on my controllers because the, the numbers and the keyboard letters just throw me off every time I see it. So let's have a look. So, uh, unload bales, and I think I have to drive, I think it's going to drop them off and then I have to drive forward, so. I don't want them too far forward, though. Oh, unload bales here, yes, but let's go back a bit. Why? Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> okay, never mind. They need to ferment anyway. I'll tidy them up. I'll tidy them up off screen. I promise. I'm not going to just leave them like that, but... Maybe it's because they're higher capacity and I probably shouldn't have done that with all of this. Let's just pop this in here and we'll call it a day there. We'll actually, we'll check them. We'll check what's in them first, see if I was right. See if I was right or not. And then I can sort all this, this mess out after. What a mess. Right, yep, yeah, so silage grass. 24 hours to go and then it will become grass silage and that's what we need and that's what's going to give us our money and when it does if I'm still here and I'm not giving up because I'm poor and all my bales are flying everywhere we'll then check what we can do going forward so I'll have a think so if you've stuck with me for this long, cheers. I'm sorry there's a big chunk missing in the middle, but hey-ho, I can't really do much about that now. It is what it is, and the game had already saved, so... Um, I do have backups and stuff like that, but... I can't remember half what I was talking about, just rambling on. But yeah, if you've stuck with me for this long, cheers. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That would be really, really good, and I will see you next time. Cheerio.